Hi guys, you're all very welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about how to go from being broke to being flush. We're going to do a case study today guys about a guy who really came from nothing to being worth almost 10 billion dollars as I make this video here today. So the guy in question is called Yang Kung. You probably heard him before. He's uh, the founder of WhatsApp. So we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into exactly who he is, where he came from, and how he came to be worth almost 10 billion dollars so stick around guys don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe any comments down below hit them up so with that let's do a deep dive on yang Kum and how he made his money <laughs> Born in Ukraine in 1976, Yan Kum is the CEO and co-founder of WhatsApp, a mobile messaging application which was acquired by Facebook in February 2014 for $19.3 billion. In 2014, he entered the Forbes list of 400 richest Americans at position 62 with an estimated worth of more than $7.5 billion. That was back in 2014. We're almost at 2018 now and latest records show he's, he's worth almost 10 billion. He was the highest ranked newcomer on the list that year. So Kuhn was born in Kiev, in the Ukraine, which was part of the Soviet Union. He's of Jewish origin. He grew up in Fastiv outside Kiev and moved with his mother and grandmother to Mountain View, California in 1992, where a social support pro program helped the family to get a small two bedroom apartment. At the age of 16, his father had intended to join the family later but finally remained in Ukraine. At first, Kuhn's mother worked as a babysitter while he himself worked as a cleaner at a grocery store. By the age of 18, he became interested in programming. He enrolled at San Jose, at San Jose University and simultaneously worked at Ernest & Young as a security tester. In 97, Yang Kuhn was hired by Yahoo as an infrastructure engineer. Shortly after, he met Brian Acton while working at Ernest & Young as a security tester. Over the next nine years, he worked at Yahoo. In September 2007, Coombe and Actum left Yahoo and took a year off, traveling around South America and playing Ultimate Frisbee, which he still likes. Both applied and failed to work at Facebook. In January 2009, he bought an iPhone and realized that the then seven month old app store was about to spawn a whole new industry of apps. He visited his friend Alex Fishman and the two talked for hours about Coombe's idea for an app over tea at Fishman's Kitchen Counter. Coom almost immediately chose, chose the name WhatsApp because it sounded like What's Up. And a week later on his birthday, February 24th, 2009, he incorporated WhatsApp Inc. in California. WhatsApp became popular in just a short amount of time and this caught Facebook's attention. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg first contacted Coom in spring 2012. Two began meeting at a coffee shop in Los Altos, California, then began a series of dinners and walks in the hills above Silicon Valley. On February the 9th, 2014, Zuckerberg asked Coombe to have dinner at his home and formally proposed Coombe a deal to join the Facebook board. Ten days later, Facebook announced it was acquiring WhatsApp for 19 billion US dollars. Over the first half of 2016, Coombe sold more than 2.4 billion dollars worth of Facebook stock which was about half of his total holdings. He is estimated to still own another 2.4 billion in Facebook stock. So basically what we have here guys, is a guy who came, just an ordinary guy, didn't come from a whole lot to be honest with you, took up programming, didn't get phased out, had a good work ethic and kept on plugging away and eventually hit it big. He saw something coming down the line which was uh, the need for apps and as you know now, there's a lot of money in apps, but he saw that coming and developed WhatsApp and a lot of people use WhatsApp now, obviously. I'm one of them as well. So Facebook saw that, he sold to Facebook and you see this story so many times with people developing programs or developing systems that are bought by larger companies. But Yang Kuhn actually uh, got into the deal that he would become a director of Facebook as well. So good for him, he saw it coming and away he went. But see, he got interested in program when he was about 18. And if you look at some of the other videos on the channel, I talk about kind of younger people or newer people coming into the industry, basically, and trying their hand at writing or programming or digital marketing. 
and where and how to do that. So if you want to check some of those videos out, go check them out. But basically, Yan Kuhn came from nothing, good work ethic, did a bit of programming, did what he had to do to get over line. People say, what do you do for a living? I do what I have to do to, to make enough money to get by, to do what, to basically be comfortable. So fair play to Yan Kuhn and Mark Zuckerberg obviously saw potential in this app, uh, bought it up, spent a lot of money on it, and uh, it's probably paid off a lot of times over for him. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. Uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see content on anything else, or if you have any stories of rags to riches or from bust to boom, just leave a few comments down below. I'd love to hear them, as always. And uh, I've left a couple of videos up in the corners. I think you'll like them. Go check them out. And until next time, guys, let's be careful out there. Take care.